Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here today. Today's video, we are curling our short hair. So I'm gonna show you two different ways. One will be using a curling iron that has a clip like this, if that is what you have and what you use. And I will also be showing you how I do it with a wand, if you use a tool like this. And everything that I'm talking about today also applies for longer hair. I will just be giving a few extra tips for if you have short hair like I do. My hair right now is is clean I washed it this morning since my hair is so fine and silky and straight <laughs> I need to add a few products to help the curls actually stay in my hair and to help my hair actually get styled if I have clean washed hair I like to add just a little bit of dry shampoo just to help give it a little bit of texture I have found that this just helps me with the longevity of my curls and to help with styling so today I'm using the living proof dry shampoo I'm just I'm not going to do my whole head because I don't need it. I'm just going to kind of do it my roots right along here. Just a few little bursts right at the root. Anytime I do my hair, whether it's short, long, medium, whatever, I always, always section it off. It's just easier for me that way and I think I go faster. So I first what I'll do is I will just section, does not have to be perfect, it in half. And then once I have this section, I'm going to, I start just with a little bit of hair. Oh wait, before we do that, we've got to prep our hair with some heat block. If you're putting any sort of heat on your hair, including blow drying your hair, you need to have a heat protectant in your hair. This is one of my favorites to use. I use this on all of my brides. This is the Kenra Heat Block Spray 22. I'll link it. I like this because it also gives some texture and helps my hair hold a curl way better when I spray this as opposed to like some other heat blocks that I've used. So I'm going to section my hair just because I like to really make sure I'm coating getting all of my hair. And once you spray it, you really want to brush this out because it gets like kind of chunky. And this is why I like to do it in smaller sections because it can get hard to brush out. Okay, and then we'll do this top section. And we'll brush it out. Now we're going to section it to curl. So I just use a claw clip or like a scrunchie for this. So I'm going to leave this bottom section. With these bottom sections, when you have short hair, they don't really matter. So just do it like if your curling iron can't even get around it, then it's too short. I just try to give it a little bit of a bend just so it's not like stick straight because then it's going to stick out at the bottom. What I will do is take a small section and there's lots of options when you're curling your hair. You can alternate the way you curl it, and by that I mean you can either curl it towards your face or you can curl it away from your face. I tend to always curl away from my face, but for me I end up always liking it better on myself when I curl them all the same way. That is totally a personal preference thing. So I am, since it's on the this side of my face, I'm gonna curl away. So I'm going to clasp it like halfway up and turn. And for these, I'm just trying to get a bend in it. And I'm going to keep the end out. Do you see? Like, I have an inch and a half of hair out, okay? And I'm going to pull it out, okay? I've just pulled it straight out, which is why I like a clamp. And I'll take another section and do the same thing. And I'll show you, like, if you wanted to switch it up. So when I did that, I clamped it. And the way you know which way to turn it is if I turned it this way, you can see that I'm bending my hair against the clamp. You always wanna turn with your barrel. So if you ever curl your hair and you get that weird clamp in it, it's because you curled it the wrong way. And that gets like, you just have to practice and then a few times and then you'll get it. It becomes like intuitive. So these look weird, but it's fine because they're at the bottom. We're just trying to give it some bend because it's gonna be at the, like underneath our hair, no one will see it. So as I'm going, I like to spray with the Kenra 13, the perfect medium spray, just to help hold it as we go. Then we're gonna let down a little bit more hair. My sections are messy and that's okay. And I think it's easier to start from the back and work your way forward. So again, clamping in the middle, I'm turning and leaving like at least an inch of hair out, if not an inch and a half. And then I slide it. 
to kind of straighten out those ends. The reason I do this, if I curled all the way, like let me, sh I'll do one, sacrifice. So if I like curled it all the way and got all of the ends, okay, so you see how you can't see any ends there? Curled the whole strand. So then when we let it go, it looks way more curly. And I love this, like I do this when my hair is really long. It's just a different kind of style. But at the end, when I kind of brush them out, they just like the curl then just kind of hung down here at the bottom and my hair was like flipping out at the bottom. So I don't do that anymore with my short hair. Light spritz. Whether you use a wand or a curling iron is all personal preference. I like this, especially if I'm leaving out the ends because it really smooths the ends down. For the last section of this side, I wanted to note that I keep this last section pretty thin this way. So I like, oh, bye. I like to leave this section kind of thin just so that I can really curl everything well because this is like what's gonna be obviously seen the most is what's on top. So I take much smaller sections when I get to this point and I make sure, I mean, I do this with every section, but I really make sure to get all the way to my root. And I like kind of unravel it and then pull out the end. All right, all right, all right, we're getting there. Did I mention I'm using a one inch barrel? <laughs> um, I like to use that side. Here's my tip. If you have long bangs or face framing pieces and instead of curling it like I did the rest, I want this to really, really nicely frame my face. So I'm gonna kind of pull it forward and I'm gonna curl it like right in front of my face. So be careful not to burn yourself like right in front, like parallel to your face and my nose. And then I'm gonna curl it like that. And I'm not gonna touch it, I'm gonna let it cool. Spray the rest. We're just gonna leave this how it is. Now we're going to use the wand. This is also a one inch barrel. Same thing, we are going to prep our hair with the heat block spray. So I'm gonna skip this part because no one needs to hear this two times. So using a wand, you just have to get used to it. I mean, it's the same for a curling iron. It, it feels a little awkward at first, but over time you get used to it. Most people I think hold it this way and curl their pieces. So this is literally all I do. I'm just trying to get a bend in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just, I'm not even curling it because also, <laughs> look at how dumb that looks. That's so funny. It's so stupid. I, I say this every video, I feel like I have a arm disability called herbs palsy look it up anyways it makes it very hard for me to i like have very limited mobility rotation in my arm in my left hand and so as i'm trying to like i can't really wrap this around it's hard for me to wrap it without burning my hand oh i did that one i just kind of have to suffer through this part okay take your spray spray it a little and we're gonna move on and pretend like that didn't happen okay so again we're gonna start at the back Small section, same size sections. Make sure you comb it through. Turn for you to see. And I'm leaving a lot out. I'm trying to get as close to the root as possible. And you kind of just lift the wand out and then I toss it. So I'm not able to straighten that side, the ends, like I'm able to straighten with the um, curling iron, but we're getting different kinds of curls. Looks stupid, but give it time. You gotta trust the process. I like this hairspray because it's like a medium hold. It's not like making my hair brick. You, you know, we've all been there. Like your eighth grade prom or whatever it was called. Man, I hope I can find a picture of that. Now that we've um, done this bottom section, I'm gonna take this out so it doesn't get too crinkled. Same thing as the other side. You don't want your sections to be too big. I feel like if you have wavy hair or not just naturally straight, straight hair, I feel like using the wand might be hard to get your ends to look good. Cause mine lay straight because I have straight hair, but they're a little like frayed, a little fuzzy at the end. Cause I'm not able to like pull it through. You know, you can go always go in afterwards like with a straightener, but nobody's got time for that. If I'm curling my hair, I want to be freaking done when I'm done, you know? Okay, same thing as the other side. I don't want this, my last section to be too thick. So like where it's at right now, that's too thick for me for a last section. So I'm gonna make this two. 
so that my last section is actually pretty thin and those curls can be more defined. All right, in our very last section, same thing applies. When I do this, like these back pieces at the like, crown of my head, I try to make it so that the hair is facing like, like this way as opposed to the sides because I don't want like a part down the back of my head. Did that make any sense? Can you even see the top of my hand? <laughs> so I try to make the curls go this way back as opposed to like fully to the side. And again, I lift it to make sure I'm getting as much volume as possible. All right, so for this last piece, my face framing, like these long bang pieces, we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side. And I'm telling you, this is like a game changer to really frame your front pieces nicely, is to hold it in front of your face and really start curling like by your nose. Oh, dang it. I curled it the wrong way. I was not paying attention. <laughs> I curled it in. Okay, so can you see how this curl goes like into my face or is this one like pulls away? This one's pulling in. So if you do this, where you make a mistake, you curl your hair the wrong way, wait for it to fully dry, dry, get cool. Because if you try to curl it again while it's still hot, it's just gonna get like a little limp and lifeless. So I'm just gonna like kind of brush it out with my fingers. And when it's fully cool, like no heat to it, then we'll recurl it. Okay, I'm gonna curl away from my face, but we're right in front. Okay, we fixed it. Once everything is cool, you're just gonna leave it. So once my curls look like this, I obviously don't wanna keep them looking like this. So two options. One is you can take your fingers and just kind of start to mess them up a little bit. And I do this kind of lightly and slowly. Go from underneath to another way to do this is to use a wide tooth comb and start at the bottom and move upwards to brush these out. So now they're all brushed out and you could leave it like this if you want, but I like a little bit more volume. So I like to take a um, texturizing spray or a dry volume spray. So I'm gonna use the Living Proof Dry Volume Burst. So this is it before, like pretty lifeless, flat at the top, right? I'm going to take this section and I'm going to, now this stuff is like pretty strong. <laughs> in terms of its power so i'm just gonna do a quick feel spurts right there at the um root take another section one more and then i kind of like do a few from the bottom okay then what we do oh yeah you gotta be gentle with it then i'm gonna just really rub it in so this is this side okay so that's how this side looks when I curl it that way. And I really like this. I feel like it's very, looks like I didn't try very hard. I just did my hair super quick. Okay, this side is now fully cooled. So same thing, I'm gonna start at the bottom, slowly brush up. So they're kind of similar. I'm trying to like look in the mirror. Yeah, they're pretty, you know, they're pretty similar. If anything, this side maybe has a little bit more volume right off the bat because I didn't pull it through. Um, and seems to have a little bit more volume up here. Now the way that I pulled it through on this side, you don't have to pull it out like that. You can just drop the curl and just straighten the end. Um, but I, I like what this does. It kind of straightens it a little bit and it makes it look a little less done. This side to me looks more done. Like I curled it. And both, I think both sides are really pretty. They're just two slightly different looks. So then I'm going to go in with that dry volume. Same thing. Wow, I mean, that volume, that's something. So these are, that's that's how I've been curling my hair lately. These are the two different sides. I will use the curling iron if I'm in a rush. I'll use the wand if I want a little bit more curl. You see how this kind of has like two curls to it, whereas this side kind of just has one. So this is my like casual side and this is my little bit more done up side. Oh, of course, last step. I just do a little bit of um, like a finishing spray at the end because I've brushed through all those curls. So for me, again, I have fine hair, it falls easily. So I'm going to make sure I put a finishing hairspray in. 
just to help make sure it's lasting a long time. So I use the Kenra. She has a few different finishing sprays. This is the volume spray. This is number 25. So I just, just give it a light spritz all over. I probably have hairspray all over my camera now. Just let me know what your questions are. If this is helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.